Okay, folks. Um, in an attempt to give you something like a, a university experience, I'm in a laboratory, and I'll just do a quick introductory clip to the lecture theme, uh, which is today, basic propeller notation. So look at the other video clip uh, given to you, the link is on the uh, notes. Anyway, I need a prop for a lecture like this and quite literally I've got a, a prop blade, it's actually a tail rotor blade and I've got a little two blade propeller here. Uh, tail rotor apparently is from a, a Lynx. Um, anyway, so uh, tail rotor performs in a manner similar to an aircraft propeller, it provides a, a force, it requires power. In the case of a tail rotor, the force is for anti-torque and control of the helicopter. So, um, take a look along the, uh, well, root tip, the centre of rotation somewhere down here, so it would rotate in that sense, leading edge, trailing edge. So think about the other introductory lecture that I gave. There's a very mild amount of twist on this blade, uh, but that there is the uh, blade section. Okay, so leading edge, trailing edge. It looks very much like the aerofoil section on a wing. Okay, so here's a little toy propeller for a model aircraft. It's got a diameter, which is the as, as the propeller rotates, it, it, uh, the tips sweep out a circle and the diameter of the propeller disc is the diameter of that circle. Root tip, uh, obviously radius. We've got a radial ordinate from the centre outboard. Uh, what else? Rotational speed is something that we need to parameterise. Um, the flight speed is, is far ahead of the propeller. Flight speed will be in that sense. The speed of the flow going through the propeller disc is not the same as the, um, as the flight speed is different, and we'll, we'll learn why. Okay, um, power to make the thing rotate, and the power is provided by a torque. Well, provide, power is provided by a motor that um, exerts a torque on the propeller through the shaft. Okay?